it's Michelle and today we're going to be doing an acorn bead charm for fall and I've got a few different options here to show you as always I really like to stress the point that you're not restricted to one specific bead that you have many options to create whatever object it is that we're working on at the time so we're going to be doing an acorn today and really what's going to make that look like an acorn for us the most is this bead cap that I found online and I like the little pattern there on that the little embossed design now you can probably use any bead cap that you want as long as it's solid like this one you don't want open filigree work or anything like that it's not really going to give that acorn look for you so we're going to be using this today and that is in the antique bronze color and so we've got antique bronze in our head pin as well. I've also got a little bead here. It's a number six seed bead in a color that kind of closely matched that bead cap that's going to go on top as our stem. And for the acorn itself, I've got so many options here that I wanted to show you. First of all, I've got a gold faceted here. And I really did like the look of that with the gold. And I also have a clear. If you wanted to make what looks like a diamond acorn, that's really cute as well. And I have this sort of golden multicolored Shambhala bead. And I like the colors on that as well. I really loved that. For fall colors but when it comes down to it I just like the look more of smooth beads for that acorn look because acorns are smooth so for that you have a few options too you could do a pearl which I thought was really cute and as you can see the smoother bead looks much more like an acorn and I've got a couple of wooden beads here too and those make really good acorns I like that one there with the, the light color but this one was my favorite I love that color to me that looked more like a real acorn than any of the other beads I'd found so I'm going to be using that one today but as long as you have a smooth bead it's going to look real good for you as an acorn. I've, I want to show you a few options here that I had before. Now the one I'm going to be using is a 14 millimeter bead um, because that fits our bead cap better. It is the width on the widest part of it is 15 millimeters. So a 14 millimeter bead fits that really well. And I had so many options in a 12 millimeter bead, but I didn't have many in the 14. So, I wanted to show you all, in case you can find some of these in the 14, these look really, really good. As you can see there, it's way too small. But I thought the color went really well with that glittery purple. That would have been really good if I'd had that in a 14 millimeter, but I didn't. And then I've got a silver metal bead here. That would have looked really good too, I think, if I'd have had that in the larger one. And then, as you can see here, I have a variety of different colors in pearls. And the pearl, I think about any color that you could find in the pearl beads looks really, really good. So, you could make a variety of these in different colors. If you can find the 14 millimeter pearls... I think all the pearl options look really, really good as an acorn. But I just couldn't find them in the 14 millimeter, and again, I ran out of time and didn't really have time to order online to get those. So, but if you've got time or if you've got a place locally that you can find them in a 14 millimeter, I suggest the pearls. They're really, really pretty. But today, we're going to be using the wooden bead. I think that looks a, a lot like a real acorn, so I think it's going to turn out pretty well. 
Also, I forgot to mention, I've got a little four millimeter bicone here that I'm gonna use. For one thing, the hole in the bottom of my wooden bead is much too large to put onto the head pin. And also, that's gonna kinda of serve as the little pointed tip at the end of the acorn. Just um, a little bicone or even a seed bead or something in a color similar to that of your bead is going to help look like that little tip at the bottom for you. So we'll put that on first and then our bead and see how that gives that little pointed tip look for you like the bottom of an acorn. And then we're going to put on our bead cap. And then our seed bead that matches our bead cap as the stem. And then we're going to make our loop. Just bend that over at a 45 with your round nose pliers. And wrap your head pin around. Reposition those to finish wrapping. And then we'll cut off our excess. And then finish closing up our loop. And now we're going to add our jump ring and a lobster clasp. both in our same antique bronze finish. Which I really like for the fall. I like the more rustic the better in the fall. And there's your finished acorn bead charm. These are really good for not only Thanksgiving but the entire fall season. I think I'll be putting mine on a necklace. So you all let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on Facebook and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.